Greetings! It is good to meet you. I will be your instructor today. I will be giving you personal instruction in the ways of magic. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Giovanni Zatara. Now, tell me, how good are you at magic? <laughs> Do you want to learn how to make a coin appear out of someone's ear? Do you perhaps want to learn the ways of cards and how to pull them out of sleeves in impossible places with names written on them, that sort of thing. Maybe you'd like to make a woman levitate or even cut someone in half. Would that be the sort of magic you're looking for? I am, after all, a very skilled stage magician. I had a feeling that you were looking for something a little different. And that's why I've been called. As the Justice League knows, I am one of the founding members of the Justice Society of America. I am the resident magician of ancient times. Now, you might be asking yourself, Giovanni, why do you look so good for someone that should be over 100 years old? Well, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I've died a few times. But we are not here to talk about me. We are here to instruct you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to examine you. We're going to find out exactly what your limits are. And then we will see if you can survive the rigors of magical training. Now, hold still. Hold still. I'm just going to gently move my wand over you. Now, you might be asking yourself, Giovanni, if you have real magic, why are you using a stage wand? Good question my potential apprentice? The answer is focus. For the exact same reason that I cast my spells by speaking in reverse. You see? That is how you make a ham sandwich appear. <laughs> it's about focus. And that is what the wand does. It helps you focus. No, it does not have any magic itself, though after a time it will become imbued with magic. All of the objects that you use will become imbued with magic. Think of it like rubbing a magnet against a metal object. Eventually that object often will become magnetic itself. The same is true with these. Now you have a very curious aura. There's something special about you, isn't there? Do you have um, a touch of interesting ancestry, perhaps? Mm, I thought so. I think I can teach you if you want to learn. But I have a requirement. You must also learn stage magic. You must also learn prestigitation. Yes, you must pull coins from children's ears. You must always hide your craft in plain sight. Now, let us see what kind of magic do you have?
demon blood. Interesting. Let's just take a slightly closer look. Hold still. I'm just going to place my wand on your forehead. You have very powerful blood. Now, don't take this personally. I myself am considered homo magi. I simply was born with the blood of magicians. But there are other ways to have this craft infused into your body. One of them is with demon blood. Do you um, know much about your parents? You were raised by your mother, I see. And uh, hold still. I'm just going to touch this to your chest. <laughs> Not just a demon. Your father is Satan, isn't he? Yes, you know, don't you? Well, Damien, I think we absolutely need to bring this power under control. I think we need to teach you how to harness it for good. After all, won't that piss off your father? <laughs> now, Damien, the first thing we're going to do is I want you to think about a painful memory. Think about a painful memory. I'm going to touch your forehead. Fire. Yes. Yes. That is hellfire. You have the skill of a true shadow caster. You could learn amazing things, Damien. You could also use them for great evil, but I think you could use it for great good. Now, I'm going to place this again on your heart, and I want you to think of a happy memory. Oh, a little harder to think of a happy memory for you. I understand. It's all right. Stop for a moment. Think of all the times you were made fun of as a child. Did anyone ever stand up for you? A teacher. Think of that teacher. Think of the way they made you feel when they defended you, when others called you different. Let's try that again. I'll try a different spell. Good. You see? Again, the flames, but they glow with a blue, cleansing fire. You see, you can channel your hellfire into a positive force. The difference is intent. Why do I speak? when I cast a spell, it is to concentrate. It is to focus. It is to express my will into the tiniest point, the way water dribbling out does nothing, but a spray will blast through a wall. The exact same thing is true for you. If you simply give out with your rage, your hellfire will be destructive, but if you focus, and give yourself good, positive energy, it will help you give forth healing, defense, 
and yes, attack, but for good. Now, I want you to look at that wall over there. I want you to think about that teacher. Think about how they made you feel and how you are going to make others feel when you help them, son of Satan. Now, let us begin. Thank you for watching Roleplay Riot. If you are enjoying this channel, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I have many more cosplays that I would love to do for you. Until then, I will take my curtain bow.